arms in, arms out. Happy Friday, welcome to mobility. Bring those arms all the way in, all the way out. Open up your chest. Nice job. Big neck circles as we go. Turn that neck all the way around. Big swings. Switch sides. Other direction. Good, switch sides. Good. Turn those arms around, go in the forward direction, then go behind. Big swings. Shoulder is a circumduction joint, so it allows us to move that thing all the way around. Switch directions. Switch sides. Big swing. Throw that shoulder around and go backwards. Big reach. Nice job. Gonna get our torso to go and around. Watch those hips. As I lean, big reach. Really pressing into every range. All the way forward through your hips, all the way to the side, all the way back. Switching directions. Press through. Reach. Grab that knee high, rock our hips back each time, switching feet. Every time you want to get your pelvis to slightly tip backwards, loosen that up, get those hip flexors awake this morning, get these guys to loosen up. If your hip flexors stay loose, your lower back is much happier, especially when we do a lot of sitting. There we go. Continue that through a couple times. You might hear my old Weimaraner here barking away. Here comes the old man. Say hi, Higgins. Hi, buddy. Making your guest appearance. All right, our legs are gonna be wide. We're gonna reach from one side to the other. One side. To the other. Big reaches. Stretching out. Turning sideways so you can see me. Keep that going. Nice job. Now we're going to open up. It's going to look like this. As we open that leg up, like you're stepping over a huge hedge. Up and over, up and over. Reach that leg across. Keep that going. I'm gonna read a few comments and say hi, but each time try and externally rotate the hip as it comes up and over. Keep that going for us. Good morning, Paul. Hi, Deanna. That was Higgins. Special guest appearance by our Really old Weimaraner. Switching sides. He's 15, so in doggy years, as a Weimaraner, he's like over 100. <laughs> We're in extended play. Big reach. Nice job. A few more of those. Get those hips loosened up. 
we're going to put this into practice. So now that we've got our hip flexors loosened up from this guy, and we've stepped over the hedge, now we're going to put it into practice. So both feet are going to be here. As I step out, both feet are this direction now, one foot's going to go there. So I'm basically making a right angle. So it's here, step open, and then drop into that deep squat. Back out. So we're going to do 10 on each leg. Drop deep. Really let your torso sink low. So I'm driving my torso down. You should feel that in your lower back. Drop it. Good job. Three more. And we'll switch sides. So now I'm going to start this way. The other foot's going to open up away, so you'll see me here. Loosen that up. Sink down into it. Loosen up those hips. Let yourself be able to move into that deep squat. By opening up your hips, it allows you to have a little bit more range of motion. You'll see that sometimes on the squat. Good job when people do that in the squat rack. I'm gonna go one more. Nice. Switch to upper body. I'm gonna take that hand across. Loosen up that shoulder joint. Get that tricep. And switch sides. Do this a couple times each side. Back over. Pull that across. Now I'm going to take that behind, so the elbow comes up, open that up, bring it across, so it looks like this. There we go, switching sides. Let me show you. I think it's taking that for a while. Reaching across. Job. We're going to go into our next stretches. Remember, there's three directions. This, when I bring my ear directly to my shoulder, stretches out this. Exhale out, let those muscles stretch open. Pull your ear to your shoulder. One more big breath. And then we'll switch sides. Bring that ear directly to your shoulder. So you want to be sideways like that. Breathing through it. Put as much pressure as you feel comfortable. If you feel like there's any one point that has a little bit more of a soreness, just stretch in that direction. Good. Now we're gonna take our head, turn it to a 45 degree angle, grab at the back of your head, so it looks like this, and I'm gonna pull it down. So basically your chin is at your clavicle, and it'll pull down through. As I turn, I'm going to tell you what this does. This stretches the levator scapulae, that muscle, as it comes down and attaches to your scapula. This is the muscle that gets the tightest, and every time you have a crick in your neck or you wake up with a sore neck, this is why. So loosen this muscle up, pulling that direction. Give it a constant hold. One more breath in and out. And then we'll switch sides, starting now. So turn in that direction and down. You can tell I'm a little tight here today. Too much cell phone. So my elbow's pulling in the direction I want to be going to. Letting that guy release all the way to my scalp. Last one, we're gonna be pulling straight forward. So it's here. Bring your chin and tuck it down to your sternum. Pull through. This one's best done as you lie flat because <clears throat> it takes all the tension off of your body. We're gonna do a standing version now. Pulling straight ahead, just like that. You can see me pulling down on my head. Breathing through it. There we go. I should loosen up that whole posterior neck. 
us having our head constantly forward, shoulders back. So because those shoulders get drawn forward, let's do a bicipital groove stretch. The hands will be behind. Lock out those elbows. Pull away from your body. I like to get a little bit of a bend in there. Really trying to work through that a little bit. Get your shoulders to come back. Stretch out those bicep tendons. Nice job. Pulling away. I'm going to unload that stretch and then load it up one more time. Lock out your elbows. Pull away. Driving right through. Good job, that upper body should feel pretty good. We're gonna finish with a scarecrow here, making sure everybody's doing good. Hands are gonna be up, just like they're dangling, right? Up. If you want a little more advanced motion, it's here. Up, out, and then press. This is what I have all my clients do with small dumbbells. 90 degrees. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Press it all the way up. One more time. Good job, get those shoulders loosened up. Okay, I'm gonna hop down to the ground. Everybody get their mats out, take a little drink of water if you need one. lumbar swing from side to side. So I'm going to lie flat, give myself enough room to let those legs go to either side. So once I'm all the way down, one leg's going to go straight in front of me, my head's going to be back relaxed, my hands go out to the side to really stabilize me. Bring that hand up and then, or that leg up, sorry. And then I'm going to rotate all the way from one side all the way to the other. So let's try and do this ten times each side. Each time, really try and loosen up so I feel my adductor there and I feel my lumbar spine here. Keep that flow going, don't stop. Really try and gain range of motion each time as you reach out. Nice job. Loosen up that low back. Goes down. Bring the other one up, just whatever's comfortable for you. Don't try and stretch it too far. But I'm going to open up. You'll see that adductor really good on the inside of the leg. And then as I come across, that lumbar spine gets it right there. Try and keep those shoulders flat for us. Keep that big flow and range of motion. Opening that up. dead bug get some activity for our brain as well so all the limbs will be up in the air feet and hands one side's gonna come away so it's gonna look like this and then I'm gonna switch sides like that so I'm gonna count ten keep that lower back flat against the ground that's why it's called dead bug like you're squishing something there we go open it up and then back there we go Get your mind to control those legs for us. Should feel a little bit of core activation. And do one more each side. Nice job. Officially have a dead bug. Elbows down, loosen up your legs. Let those adductors stretch out. There we go, a little butterfly stretch. Classic. From 
here, I'm gonna transition and do a lower back stretch. One leg goes forward. Other leg comes over the side. I'm gonna use that as leverage, so pulling that leg this direction. I'm gonna turn my torso the other way. Grab my elbow and use that for leverage if you can. Twisting away. The pressure for me is going towards you guys with my elbow, and I'm turning the other direction. There we go, switching sides. Leg goes over the top, elbow comes here, and then I'm rotating away. Big reach. I'm pressing that way, but my torso is going the opposite direction. Really getting that lower back. Get this up into a hip flexor stretch. One of my favorites is this. Foot goes forward, knees behind it. I'm gonna really slide that open. I'm trying to keep my torso vertical. I'm gonna press away and rotate that there. So that hand comes up, pushing pressure away, turning my pelvis that way, so it's opposite. Really trying to get this hip flexor to loosen up and that. Same thing goes, make sure your foot's gonna be in front of that knee as it goes out. Bring that leg open. So the leg's gonna push in that direction as I rotate my hip that way. So I'm gonna load this a little bit more like that. Really feeling that stretch. I'm gonna breathe through it, pulling that leg out. Don't forget, get that leverage point. Nice job. Go into a classic uh, hamstring stretch. I'm gonna put all these things together to finish with uh, one of my favorite total mobility movements. Hands together, reach out whether it's gonna be uh, your shins or your uh, toes based on your hamstring flexibility. But I'm gonna reach out. Try and get those hamstrings flat to the ground. I like to get a little twist in there to feel myself through this, whether it's my hamstrings or my lower back. Try and loosen those up. Great job. Okay, we're gonna put this together. Uh, I'm gonna show you as I walk out towards you. It's gonna be that um, Mark Verstegen exercise. start in a standing position, walk myself towards you. Once I'm there, I'm gonna rotate open, get those hips to come forward, try and touch the elbow. So big multi-part movement, hopefully we should be pretty loose, especially with all those open the head guys. So we're gonna start this way, walk ourselves out. Once I get out to that push up like inside hand, if my left foot is forward, my left hand is the one that went away. Now I'm going to switch sides, right foot comes up, try and keep that back leg locked up. First I'm going to try and test the elbow down, barely getting it today, I'm so tight. Loosen up, wave to all the fans in the crowd, hopefully it's not piped in noise like the NFL games, here we go. I'm going to drop into a little cobra stretch since I'm here, press up. Come back out of it, and I'm gonna walk myself back, keeping those heels down. Nice job. Let's do that one more time. I'm gonna turn this direction so you kind of see me a little better. So I'm gonna walk out into this. Really try and reach down if you need to. The entry uh, approach will be with the knees bent as you come through. Walk yourself on out. Big step forward. I'm gonna reach down with that elbow, try and touch towards the ground. Then I'm gonna open up and rotate. Get that whole spine to turn and twist. Just locking out that back leg. Come back down, we're gonna switch feet. Left foot comes forward. Try and touch that elbow to the ground. 
Then I'm gonna open and rotate. Waving my fans. Back down. Walking this. I'm gonna do a little leg swing. So I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. Try and stabilize with my left foot for a little bit of balance. And then swing that leg through. If you need to, you can use your hands for balance. You could even touch. Couple more. And switching sides. Stabilize on that foot, get your central point. Start with some little swings. Those hands out if you can use them. Touch if you have that balance. Hopefully we've loosened up that hip a little bit. Nice and mobile. Nice. From those two exercises, we really should be nice and loose now through our hamstrings, or at least a little bit better. I'm gonna reach down, really try and point my back foot away from me. Um, they have these three or four different names for this exercise. We call it Romanian deadlift with a single leg, so single leg RDL. Here we go. Slide that foot back. Tapping down, so goal is try and point that toe and then swing through. So I'm going to do five on each side, reaching out, swing that leg through, three more, point that back toe, swinging through, Woo, give myself some big momentum, nice job, swinging through. Go, my right side doesn't want his balance as much today. Oh, look at that. Good job. Let's see if I can do the last one through and stick the landing like Carrie Shrug. Everybody doing good? Let's do a little checkup. Here's that way. Let's do a little split stance rotation. So I'm going to get two feet spread apart, get myself on that split stance, and then I'm gonna rotate. Get that torso to turn. I've opened myself up. So I'm in that big split stance. This is the closed side, this is the open side. One more. Good, we'll switch it up. So right foot's gonna come forward, left foot will be back. Spread that distance between the two, then I'm going to rotate. That'll help you feel if those adductors are tight. Each time you press and twist, you should feel a little bit more of a stretch. It's the whole part about a dynamic flow, keep your body moving and flowing. I'm going to turn my mat for you so you can see me sideways. Grab a pillow if you want to, but you're going to spread out to the side. Let that leg slowly slide away, trying to keep your foot down. So I'm going to put a pillow down just so you can see what that's like. Take that foot, I'm going to slide it out away from me. My hands are coming in front. I'm going to slowly let that stretch slide open. And that's going to be a big adductor, the inside of that leg. I'm using my hands to control my body weight making sure that I'm not going too deep. Now I'm gonna turn my foot. So right now my foot is completely flat. I'm gonna lift my toes and rotate through the heel. So toes are coming up. I'm gonna slowly turn and open myself up. <clears throat> if you like James Brown, you'll open that thing up into the splits. And then kicking it back through. I can slide over for the other side so you can see my foot. <clears throat> so letting that foot slide open. My hands are out front, so I'm using that to take a little bit of a load off with my body weight. 
I'm gonna load that stretch a little bit more and slide out. Really spread open that abductor. And just like before, you're gonna watch me turn those toes up. The heel's gonna stay down. I'm gonna slowly walk myself through there. Now I've transitioned from my abductor into that hamstring. I'm gonna go over the top. Try and open that thing up. Nice job, stretching out those hamstrings. Back up. Slowly. Sorry about that. Getting messages. Now I'm going to have both knees bent and let the short head of that adductor. There we go. Let that spread open. Still using my hands out front to control myself. But really opening that stretch up. If you're on a slideable surface, be careful not to open it too much. Use those hands. Loosen you up. That should be stretching you open. There we go. Five more seconds. Great job. I'm going to come into a piriformis stretch. This one I'm going to do on my back. Lie all the way flat. If your glutes are tight, it leads to having your lower back get tight. So you want hamstring flexibility, glute flexibility, so it takes that pressure off your lumbar spine. So make sure we cross one leg over. I'm going to reach through the hole I've just created. Pull that leg back to me. Head goes back and I'm trying to pull this guy in that direction which puts all that stretch on that glute right there. Pulling back, take a few deep breaths and just breathe through it. Good job, switching sides, foot goes down. Bring that foot up. You can always see how tight your glutes are just made. Pulling back. Deep breath, pull towards you. I did this one on the ground today, so we take the load off of it. Let your lumbar spine relax as you're just pulling through those glutes. Here we go. That should make you nice and loose. Roll that out a little bit, rock it. Nice job. Gonna make a little transition. Going from our mobility class into our core class. If you're gonna continue on with us, fantastic. If not, thank you for joining us for mobility. Ready, cut, edit. All right, so now we're gonna jump into a little core, kick this up. Hope everybody's ready for a little core action. Everybody there? Yeah. I don't see much action today. Not a whole lot of questions, so this must be pretty, uh, Pretty uh, used to it by now, huh? Okay, here we go. Getting right into it. First thing I'm gonna do right out of the gates is go into a little uh, prone position. So I'll be on my stomach. I'm gonna go up into those Supermans. Hopefully you joined us for that first part so your lumbar spine's nice and loose, you're feeling good. We're gonna do that little prone press up. So those guys are coming up Superman style. Gonna go 30 seconds. Here we go. Hands are going to be out. I'm going to press straight up just like this. Up and then back down. Point. Get the toes and the hands away from you. Starting now. Ready? Go. Try to get a little elevation off the ground each time. See if you can get your quads up off the ground. Torso's coming up to four sets. Nice job. I'm gonna go up into a V tuck. 
start in this position, hands will be up underneath your legs. This will be that top. Notice I'm not rounded through that spine, but I'm trying to stay nice and erect and vertical. When I pull my legs apart, you can hold that open. You can go into a classic V, holding that guy open. Anytime you need to come back, take that load off. So we're gonna go for 30 straight seconds. I'm gonna go in for a little bit more of a spread, pointing those toes. Anytime you're ready to come back, just take that load off like this. Into a little rotation. So you're going to watch me. I'm actually taking my foot off my mat so I can get a little bit of twist in there. It's going to be here. So ready? 20 seconds. Turn. Rotate up. Big reach. Like you're taking a hammer. Letting it go. Rotate across or so. Two seconds. Good. Switching sides. So now this foot's going to rotate and turn as I'm taking that hammer and turn it the other way. So it's going to be here, turning. Nice job. Ten seconds left. Two seconds. Nice job. Should get those obliques to fire, right? Wake those up. Now I'm going to do a elbow behind my head. If you've got a weight, you can hold it. I'm going to do a reach and then a big contraction back. Boom. That's when you fire that oblique on that side. I'm just doing 10. So this will be two, three, four. Five, big reach to the side. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Switching sides. Another elbow up, now we're firing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Hopefully that woke those guys up a little bit. We can go flat on the ground and do our penguins. So we'll be reaching with each hand. Get those knees bent up. So once I'm down. All the way flat, bringing those legs up to 90 degrees so that that guy's going to be lifted for me. When I reach up into that crunch position, that's when I'm firing that rectus abdominis of the six pack. So I'm going to press up, hold one side, other side before I fall down slow. So I'm going to get that going for 30 seconds. Starting right now. Reach, reach, staying up until I fall. Come back up, reach, reach. Then fall. Just like an emperor penguin. There we go. Down so. And last one. Good job. Uh, hands will be at my side. I like to put my hands underneath my glutes that way that I drive my lower back into the ground and then I'm going to rock up and then down. Try to be as vertical as you can. If you need to come forward a little bit you can ride that momentum. Starting right, 
Down, 20 seconds. Up, down, slow. Up, down, slow. You can see you get a little bit of tricep here as you force into the ground. Try and drive those heels in the air. Two seconds, and done. Nice. Everybody's feeling good? Okay, I'm going to do a little posterior chain, reach with both heels as I touch. Just gonna give a two second break. Grab a drink, everybody. I'm gonna grab a power cord. Little technical difficulties, always fun, right? Never let your children play with your iPad. <laughs> All right, now plug this bad boy in. Go, losing track of my core timing there. Sorry about that, everybody. It's a nice big water break, right? Okay, back in action. Sorry about that. Let's go to this real quick. We'll bring the hands behind since I'm standing. We're gonna come to the side and then come to the side. Let's go 30 seconds, ready, go. Ten seconds. Three seconds. And done. Good job, everybody. Checking in. I'm going to do a little hollow body rock. Let's also keep that going for 30 seconds so we'll be flat on our back. Goal on this one is to make a nice, beautiful banana that rocks back and forth. Remember, you can stay upright in this position or you can have your hands behind. So if you're learning how to do this guy, here's the top part. So just by this and then back, my feet touch the ground, then back. That little rocking mechanism really keeps the fire on that, that constant tension on that uh, rectus abdominis. But let's try the hand behind. Power through it, halfway there. Five seconds. And done. Good job, I'm gonna go into a little stretch. Press through that guy. Nice little cobra stretch. Take a little tension off. All right, let's go into a side plank. I'm gonna keep my elbow down today. A couple ways you can do this. You can have one foot stacked on top of the other, or you can spread the feet apart. I'm gonna go for a little low level, spread the feet apart, bring myself up where the hip comes off the ground, so you can see air into there, and then bring it back down. So I'm gonna do 20 seconds each side, starting right now. Bring it up, and then down. 20 seconds, drag through that elbow. If you need to, put a pillow underneath there. You can also be up on a hand. Good job, halfway there. And done, switching sides. I'm gonna do a little flop like this so I can still see you and my iPad I had to plug in. Elbow here, we're gonna drive that down. I'm going for the spread, but you can stack them. This time, why don't I put that hand in the air and drive?
driver. Let's go. Five seconds. And down. Great job. Okay. I'm going to bring those legs up. Feet will be together, so I'll pin those feet in. Then I'm going to reach up through. So my hands are going to be here, like I'm doing a little swimming stroke. Right through. See that? Perfect. Let's go 30 seconds, starting right now. Drive up, see if you can reach those toes. You're going to feel this mostly right under the rib cage where the origin of your rectus abdominis is. The six pack. So this will strengthen your two pack. Nice job, five seconds. And done, perfect. I'm gonna use my towel for this next one just to give me a little bit of whip action. Quick sip of water. I'm gonna face you. Couple options here. You can uh, sit with your heels driving into the ground, so if the heels are going to be here. When I rotate, I'm just going to smash that towel from one side to the other. The second option would be to lift those heels and elevate them up off the ground. That's going to be a little bit more dynamic as if you have to react. So I'll probably do half and half. Start the first one with my feet down. Make sure you're keeping your torso upright. Don't turn into a question mark. Be an exclamation point. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna go upright for the second half. And done. Good job, everybody. I'm gonna go into a little flutter kick, so I'm gonna lie flat on my back, supine, uh, and kick those feet. So we're gonna do a little diver dance. And then I'm gonna probably transition into those leg crosses. Let's go for uh, 30 seconds total. Remember, if you put your hands underneath your back or your glutes, it'll push your back into the ground. That's kind of where I feel most comfortable. We'll put your legs out to whatever uh, control you have with your core. It could be higher or it can be nice and low. If you go too low, you take the load off. So find that sweet spot for yourself. We're going to start right now. 30 seconds. Head's going to be back. I'm just going to flutter kick my way through. Wish I was in the water flutter kicking right now. It'll be a nice beach. My time, please. And stop. Now we're gonna cross. Crissity cross. Give me those scissors. Five seconds. Nice job. I happen to know some people. All right, so we're gonna bridge up. In that bridge, I'm gonna reach and then touch and come back down. So bridge up, then I'm gonna reach and touch the opposite side and come back down. It's a little bit of physical therapy mixed in with a little bit of core for you. Make sure we're firing those glutes, staying nice and strong, drive your heels into the ground. 30 seconds, starting right now, bridge up. Reach, come back out of that bridge. Bridge back up, reach. So each time I'm sequentially firing those muscle groups, which is great for my brain. Keep that neural firing. You wanna be able to fire whatever muscle in your body at whatever time you want. Sometimes people have problems with coordination because they're just not using it enough. Some of us are more gifted, obviously, with different movements, but everybody can get better at it. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses. But the old adage, if you don't use it, you what? Lose it. All right. Two seconds. Last one. Good job. I'm going to work myself behind the couch here. Bye. 
Pulling myself out. Everybody doing good? Any questions? Not one question. I'm kind of exceptionally boring today. Hope everybody's feeling good. Happy Friday. Did I say that yet? All right, I'm gonna go into something I call bag presses, but you can grab anything heavy in your house. Maybe I'll use a pillow. We know those are heavy, right? Some pillows are heavier than others. Feet will be nice and wide. The wider, the better. Get that nice vertical spine and then down slow. Every time I come down, think about rolling each vertebra through the ground as you fall. Fall gently. All right, 10 of these, ready? Go. One. Don't plop on the way down. Two. Three. Good. Change the pillow. Up. Press up and up. I think that's six. Lose and count. Nothing like staring into a phone by yourself. You're all with me though, right? I know Dean is there. Paul's there. All right. One more. Good job. Rebecca's been in the back and out front, and then back and out front. <laughs> Ten of you are three kids. Through a I really homeschooled these days, I guess. All right, hope everybody's doing well. We plug in along. Okay, I got about five more minutes before I cut you loose to uh, join John, hopefully. Maybe you'll plug in with John. I'm gonna go into a little plank action. Nobody needs me. All right. From this position into a plank, I'm gonna do a plank walk. So I'm gonna be on my elbows, up to my hands, Back down to those elbows. Ready? Starting that plank, I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna count my right side 10 times. So once I'm loaded, it's gonna be up and then down. That's two. I'm gonna switch. That's four. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good job, everybody. We're doing good. I'm gonna pull my socks off and go into a little scorpions. Get a little better traction. I'm sliding around a little bit today. So you're gonna go back on your hands and heels. Once I'm in this position, I'm gonna drive up into my crabs. So let's do 10 crabs. Bring that guy up. You want your abs to be completely flat like you're a tabletop. You can invite people to eat off your picnic table if you're socially distanced. All right, five more. Crabbing through. Squeeze your glutes at the top, your hamstrings. Last one, I'm gonna go into a little scorpion. Hi Higgins. As I press up, I'm gonna have the hand go across, so it's gonna be here and here. Full scorpion. Pressing that toe. Just trying to see what dad's doing, right? Let's go about 10 more seconds. Pressing through. Remember, if you need to, you can just reach up. Just reach up. You can reach out, get all the way up there. You should feel that in your triceps. Be um, up on our hands and toes. So that one was the opposite of this one. So if I'm there, I'm gonna be up in this position. Once I load this, uh, my knees will be off the ground. I'm gonna do the opposite foot to opposite reach. So if you need to, you can always come back down to this position, which is just a bird dog, right? So that's a bird dog version of it. Here's the full praying mantis up. So I'm gonna go for 20 seconds, opposite hand, opposite foot. Pulling away. Stabilize yourself through your core. Get those legs going out. 
Five seconds. And done. Last exercise, I'm gonna stick with that same theme. That cross crunch from my right side and my left side are working together. It's gonna look like this. Flying all the way flat. As my hands are out, how do you guys? As my hands are out, I'm gonna reach up and touch. See that? And then come back down, avoid the big horse, reach, and then reach. Good job, he's fine. Reach, and reach. He just wants to see the grand finale. Right, Higgs? You wanna see the ending? Come here. Good. Not bad for a hundred year old dog. <laughs> Last one. Hope we can get outside a little bit on today's sunny afternoon and then um, prep ourselves for this next few days of rain. There's our big attack dog. All right, everybody. Hey, Yumi. Hey, everybody, have a lovely Friday. Hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Join me back for a little hit class if you like. Um, love having you. Until then, be well, have a lovely weekend. Take care.